All right, all right, all right. So let's open up uh, Tone Forge and take a look at it very quick. So basically, it's very simple. You have a the Horizon Devices Precision Drive as your like boost for the amp, uh, and then you have three channels. You have a lead, a crunch, and a clean. You can obviously tweak the EQ over here. You've probably seen plenty of videos of all this. Uh, you got your cabs and all that stuff. You can load your own impulse responses. Then you got your effects, which is probably my favorite part of the plugin, to be honest. Uh, really nice delay and reverb. And then you have a parametric EQ to tweak in a little bit more of the tones. And then you have a final compression stage. So um, let's take a look at some of the tones I got. I use some of the presets that are included with um, when you purchase a Tone Forge Mishima Sore. Um but let's take a look at this very quick. So we'll start with this intro clean that I got right here. Has a pretty awesome tail right there on the reverb so basically what I'm using here is just a clean channel pretty standard EQ taking some mids out and that's it uh, precision drive is not on we're using the match cab and then I got the delay rocking quarter notes the mix is at 50% it's pretty much this standard almost loaded up delay it's like super easy to get a cool tone with this there's nothing going on in the parametric EQ uh, let me go back to the effects overview I got the chorus pretty much set standard just turn it on and go and reverb pretty much the same deal as well I probably yeah I just yeah the mix went a little bit down and that's it but pretty pretty straightforward so then for this little section in five here, I used one of the Misha presets, and it's this chorus, chorus 80s clean. So let's take a listen how this sounds. These ones I recorded them twice in hard pan left and right. So let's take a listen. So there we have that one. Uh, next up, I there's another Misha patch in here. Uh, I'm gonna pull up this one before Pro Tools freezes again. It's I use the Dreamy Atmosphere bulb patch for this part here. So let's take a listen very quick. Like I'm saying that the reverb and delay are, are amazing. I also used another Misha patch here. It was like the post-rock lead thing with the, you know, the delay in front of the app and that kind of stuff. Let's take a listen to this. This one is slightly buried in the mix. It's just to give a little bit more melodic content to the big chugging chords. So that with the with the chugging chord sounds like this. All right. So for the chugging part and all the rhythm uh, I'm using another one of the presets, which is, we can look it up right here. 
It's the tight rhythm preset. So let's take a listen to these rhythms here very quick. Here we go. So for my preference, there's some like kind of honkiness uh, in there, but for the purposes of the demo, I wanted to keep everything with as minimal processing as possible. And everything is routed to this guitar bus right here, and there's only a, a low pass and a high pass filter on it, and that's it. There's nothing else going on. So these are pretty much raw tones, which sound pretty good in a mix already, at least to my ear. And then the lead is a preset I made, which is it's pretty much I just plugged in my guitar and the first thing that came up as soon as I installed the plugin and then started putting delay and reverb and stuff like that on it. And it sounds pretty pretty gangster to me. Let's take a listen. This one down here is just a little harmony on the lead. So let's take a listen to the lead. So it sounds pretty good right off the bat. For me, I would try to make it a little creamier, do a little post eq in on it, but, I mean, for raw tones, that sounds pretty gangster to me. Uh, let's take a listen to all these guitars very quick, all stacked up, without the context of the mix. Well, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this plugin in, in the comments and stuff like that. And just, you know, if you know of any other plugins that you want me to go and demo or do something with them and show what I would do with them, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you hated it, go and dislike it. No problem. No bad feelings. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.